Our next fighter making his way to the cage, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. First up for this 205 pound affair, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. The 23 year old stands six feet four inches tall. The debut fighter from Hesperia, California with Cage Combat Academy, owned by his brother, Alex Reyes, who is a professional fighter. Dominic has a strong wrestling background, but an even further sports background from the East Coast. Yeah, and he, uh, he played football at Stony Brook. He was a defensive end, very highly touted, um, was first team all Big South. Uh, he was a big NFL prospect too, so NFL training is huge, and you know, a defensive back, tackles and takedown defense all come into play in the MMA. The very similar movements and explosiveness and power that you you get. There's been a lot of guys that have uh, trans, um, transferred from football to MMA and have very successful careers. We have uh, Ovin St. Fru that's doing very well, did very well in Strike Force and doing very well in the UFC. Our next fight of the evening is brought to you by OTM Fight Shop for all your MMA and Jiu Jitsu needs. Scheduled for three two minute rounds in the 205 pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter making his debut. He stands at six feet four inches tall and weighing at 201 pounds, representing Cage Combat Academy from Hesperia, California. Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A Kenpo practitioner making his debut. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall and weighing at 186 pounds, fighting with the hive from Lake Balboa, California, Renato Gordino. Man in charge of the action, a red Francisco. Dominic Reyes in the black trunks, Reno Gudino in the gray camouflage trunks for this 205 pound affair here at the University of Mixed Martial Arts. It starts here. Quick jab from Dominic, and a couple shots drop, Re drop Gudino. Reyes all over him, pouring it on early. Gudino though, searching for that takedown, Locks trying to change the momentum. An outside single, looks like a somewhat of a guillotine attempt. Does a great job of taking the back, lands some big shots. Reyes, the quick starter here in round number one, all over Gudino. Gudino bloodied early. Very dominant performance so far. Reyes coming out super strong, trying some sort of Kimura twister setup here. Might get reversed if, if he doesn't keep his hips high, and he does. You know, Gudino really used to training jiu-jitsu with guys bigger than him. He rolls all the time with his older, with his younger brother Alejandro, who's a heavyweight. So he's used to being under people who are significantly bigger than him. He just got, he's getting flattened out here. He needs to at least bump, he needs to do some hip bumping, roll. You know, this is the most dominant position in MMA when you take someone's back. Most high percentage for finishes and, you know, submissions as well. Blood already coming from the nose of Reno Gudino but doing a good job staying in there, fighting off the submission attempt. But here we go. A choke, it's, now it's under the chin. And there is the fight right there. Round one submission victory for Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And yes, he was devastating tonight. And there we have it. Uh, dominant performance from uh, a fellow Long Island football player. Even though he's not from Long Island, he represented. Representing the area. You know, you got to be impressed with the rush of Dominic Reyes. You know, once you lose your composure, it, it goes downhill, and you know, if the other guy is gaining confidence, usually the fight gets stopped pretty soon after that. We didn't get to see much of Reno Gudino so far. You know, he's from a big fight family. His brother Alejandro later on tonight's card. The third man in the ring, Red Francisco, brings a fight to a halt. One minute, 22 seconds into the first round. Your winner by way of tap out due to a rear naked choke out of the blue corner, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. Let's give it up for both these fighters. Dominic the Devastator, you certainly didn't live up to your name. In that short fight, you were able to display a full range of MMA, striking, takedown, ground. How has your uh, football training translated into what you just did in the cage? Aggression and violence. That's it. <laughs> and there you have it. 
What can we expect to see from you in the future after what we just saw right now? Keep working, work hard, and just get some more victories. We like that. You want to give a shout out to all your friends and fans who came to support you? Yeah, I'd like to thank my coach, Alex, my brother, Case Combat Academy, my family, and all my friends in Hysteria, and Stony Brook in New York. Thank you. Give it up.